Hey, what's up, you guys? We're back. Yo, yo, yo. 2019, dude. We're so happy to, that you're here with us, bringing in the new year. Um, you know, we got a lot of cool things to talk about. Yeah, actually, um, I got I got a really cool surprise, man. Really? I got us a sponsor. No. Are you serious, I dude? did. Dude. I did. Who is it? Well... It's still a surprise, but it's they just want us. Dude, they want crazy. they want us to just read this script. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, and then they're like totally down to sponsor Point Nemo. Dude. Really, dude? Yeah. That's all. You want me to read it? Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. This is crazy. Did you know about this? No. Oh my god. New to me. All right. Wow. All right. <clears throat> hey everyone, my name's Vince, and I'm here to tell you that I'm a piece of sh piece of shit. All right, yo, yo, we are back to back to the show, the show. 2019. 19. Yo, we're back. Yo, Blade Runner 2020. Yeah, brother. <laughs> um, we're back in the studio. Vince here, Blake here, and then we got this kid, Rob. Rob's here. <laughs> um, yeah, super excited about this this shit, bro. Episode 17. And, um, yeah, if you caught our last two episodes, the Christmas special and the, uh, what's it called? The New Year's Eve special. Um, I don't know if it, anyone picked up on it, but it was, uh, those were all recorded out of order and way before they were released because I, I headed out to good old state of Florida for Christmas. <laughs> You're from Florida, right? Like or, originally? Yeah, a little bit. Where in Florida? Um, Tampa. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're in the villages north of Orlando. It's pretty dope, but um, but yeah, dude, Florida's pretty fucking awesome. We Have you been to, to Florida? We went to Florida oh, together. Dude. We went to Florida together. We That's drove right. a Chevy Malibu all the way from here to Florida. Yeah, and when we were like twenty minutes from where we needed to be, I drove it onto a curb. <laughs> Remember that? I drove it over a curb, oh, yeah. and the curb got like st it got like stuck in the middle of the oh, car. Yeah. And it was just like teetering, and we were just like, fuck, oh like we gotta God. go. We just like <laughs> scraped, pushed it off, and we were delivering it to uh, a friend's younger, for a friend's younger right. sister to use. So we just like probably fucked up the undercarriage of that thing, and we're just like, here, nothing <laughs> happened. That was so funny. Yeah, that was an interesting trip, too. And then we went to uh, then, <laughs> New Orleans. <laughs> you remember? New Orleans. Do you remember when we left for New Orleans on the bus and like we got that, like <laughs> you, have, you have footage of it where like Zach like, oh almost crashed he like he had to he had to like slam on the brakes and there was just a bed in the back and everyone <laughs> just <laughs> fell forward into everyone else and it like was so it was funny. so bad but there's like footage yeah. where it's just like <laughs> and then just like one sound and it's like Michelle going like oh <laughs> 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 like, it was so messed up but um. But yeah, Florida's just great. I mean, I wouldn't want to live there year round just because, um, you know, it's so hot right now. I mean, I can't imagine what it's like in the summertime. But yeah, this is like their cold season. Yeah, too. dude. But I would go there. I would live there like in the winter. Like that place was fucking so much fun. I love that place. But um, what'd you do? Um, mainly just like a lot of family stuff, and and that was like pretty cool. That was like pretty like surreal and emotional for me. Just like. We're getting rained on here, folks. I don't know if you can hear it, but we're about to die. <laughs> but um, but yeah, no, it was just great. It was great to meet like a lot of my wife's family. Like met her brothers, two of her three brothers, and they were just like. Did they grill you? No, dude. That quite the opposite. I guess like I guess you're kind of. I was a little nervous though. Like, well, I mean, I'm not trying to to be weird, but I guess you're kind of past the point of grilling because you guys are married and you have a child <laughs> together. True. So it's like they they can't Skip be that. like, what are your intentions with my sister? And right. it's like to marry her and have a child yeah, together yeah. I, I did actually meet the youngest brother who was there i'd met him once before but it was a long time ago and it was for like a real brief time and he definitely did give me forget what he said he said something either like you know you better look after my sister but it was like with a hug too but it was definitely oh, it was probably like, more sincere it was than for like sure but it mean. definitely was like because i'll kick your ass like that was there like in a subtle way and that's for that's how it should be you know but it yeah. was either he said that or her dad said that, or 
her dad said this or he said this and that was like i've got guns dude <laughs> like so, said it, and I was like, okay. <laughs> like, so funny you say that because I was one of my first girlfriends I ever had. I went to a um a wedding in Pennsylvania and met her grandfather and like her aunts and her grandfather and her mother's boyfriend at the time. They're like ex Marines. Dude straight up had a fucking pistol grip shotgun in the kitchen and was like, "Yep, I got this." And was just like showing it to me, and I was so scared. They made me sleep in the basement. Oh shit! But then she like texted me and was like, "Come Run. upstairs." <laughs> no, she's like, "Come upstairs," and so I like snuck upstairs, and her room was like two doors down from the grandfather's room, and just like snuggled with her for like two hours in fear, absolute <laughs> fear. <laughs> On your way to her room, you walk past where the gun is, and it's not there. <laughs> like, oh shit! But uh, but yeah, no, it was yeah, it's, it was cool though. And yeah. then like uh, yeah, her brothers were like, my experience and, wasn't wasn't cool. That oh wasn't, no, dude, that it was, was not cool. It was scary though. Oh no, no but that cool. sounds yeah. cool. That yeah. sounds cool. But um, it's nice. But yeah, it was interesting. And you know, her family—they're Mormon, and uh, we actually had like planned on Libby's not like Mormon. She's not part of that anymore. Her family, but her I didn't, I didn't family is. And uh, and it was like interesting. Like Libby was like, you know, we're probably gonna have to go to church, and I was like, to- like honestly, I was totally open to the idea. She like wasn't too pumped about it, but I was just because like. You know me. I'm kind of like I'm like a spiritual trip kind of right now, like seeking answers for things, you know. And not that I was like going in there being like I'm gonna find God, yeah. you know, or like I'm gonna become Mormon. I was like I just want to like experience <laughs> this experience, like how like, to see well, how yeah, they it would worship definitely or be something they... very interesting too to try it, you know. Oh, see yeah. what a Mormon church is like. Yeah. Exactly. One of them. And so, and it was pretty like it was exactly what I wanted it to be. It was, like had like a. Oh no! Oh, like an awakening of sorts in there. There was this one guy who like got up to talk a brother, and he uh, he was talking about wait like a that's what I think I don't know like what a brother they call brother them, or like a like, brother oh oh yeah <laughs> just like a brother a brother or a brother or a brother brother. <laughs> uh, why do white people eat soup? <laughs> 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 No, but, uh, <laughs> what is with these white people and their cow soup? Why are they eating so much liquid? Campbell's more like Cam Smells. <laughs> um, uh, real, real sad part about that joke is like that guy's not like family oriented anymore. Uh, it's just unfortunate. Anyway, though, but uh, but so yeah, brother... no, yeah. So he spoke, and it was probably because it was New Year's. You know what I mean? It was like the day after New Year's or something. I forget. But uh, or no, right before. Either way, his message was about like goals and stuff. You know, and we kind of talked <laughs> goals about that on, <laughs> on the last episode. It's just like goals and where we want to see ourselves and stuff. And it was just like very impactful to me. Like one of the things he said was like, and and you've heard it before. The whole thing, like you set a a destination, right? You like. Either you already know how to get there, but if you don't know how to get there, you obviously look up how to get there. You know what I mean? And so he's like, plan your goals. And it's just like how he said it, you know, like hit me in like the right way. I was like, duh, you know, like it's just easiest way of saying it. Just like plan your way to your goals. And um, and I feel like we're kind of on, on the way to do that with like some of our, our major goals. It's just like, it's not just like I want, you know, like we said, like 100,000 subscribers. It's like. Or hundred thousand like, dollars. Yeah, or hundred thousand dollars. It's not just like w- sit there and wait for it to happen. It's like, how do we? What are the things that we can do and should do to like get attention? On buy a gun, stuff? buy a ski mask, <laughs> go into a bank, get the money. <laughs> yep. Um. Very easy. But yeah, that was pretty dope. But the one of the cooler parts too of Florida was going to fucking Disney World, dog. How was that? That must have been sick. Yeah, it was pretty sweet. It was our daughter's uh, birthday. Was the day we went New Year's Eve, dude. It's like the busiest fucking day of the year to go to Disney. Yeah. And And then Magic Kingdom is probably like. That's exactly where we were, too. Magic Kingdom the whole day. Tons of fireworks. Yeah, fireworks happened at 6. And then they happened again later. But but we were were there for the 6 p.m. ones. And those were so intense, dude. So cool, though. But um, but yeah, it was super busy. We got there right as right after they opened. We were a little late. We wanted to get there before, but we got there right when they opened lines were just like so intense to get in but not that bad honestly but um but yeah we hit we'd only got to hit a couple rides really like we hit um it's a small world dope and that, that shit was one. really that great cool, ride what'd you say so you gotta do that one when you go to disney yeah that was cool did that was get, the first one did you do pirates 
Yeah, we did Pirates. So we did Pirates is what great. Did we, do? we did Small World and then we went I think we tried to get on Splash Mountain. So what happened is we got to Splash Mountain and I was pretty stoked about it. I was like, all right, but the wait time like doubled, like because they say it right yeah, there, it the doubled calendar. right when we got there. And I had it on my app too. They they'll tell you wait times on this app, but right when we got there, it doubled. And so, but we realized like we'll just get in line, and then you can do a thing where like I can sit out a line with Juliet because she can't go on the thing. <coughs> and wait, she couldn't a... go on Smash Mountain. <coughs> no, she's too little. So wait, you guys are in Smash Mountain for you? No, no, no. So, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, wait, so she can me, go on Splash Mountain, right? Juliet? Yeah. No, no, no. She's right. too small for that. But you were like. But me, it's, so my sister went with us too. Oh. So Libby and my sister. Not they that were there would line. be anything yeah, wrong yeah. if it, you know. I mean, you're in Disney. Splash Mountain is like an iconic thing to go to. Oh, yeah. So it would make sense to do it. But um, so we were waiting. So my sister and Libby get in line. They give us a fast pass so that when they're done, I can jump in the fast pass line. Oh. And I can get through there. And I was like, all right, that's cool. You know, and we, wait, we waited. They were in line for two hours. And I'm standing at the bridge oh. where it comes down. Where it comes down after the hill. I'm standing at the bridge. So oh, where like, everyone gets soaked? Yeah, yeah. The Whoa, we got some fucking lightning people. We get zap. <laughs> at least we're on a thing with rubber wheels. We're safe, dude. Dude, this is. I'm talking. I'm not going to lie. I do not feel safe. In this thing. Is that it? Hmm? That's good. A little ominous what? sound effects for us. It's picking up. Um, that's cool. But um Um wait, real quick though too, just on a side note before you keep going, where what was the thing, the incident that happened that made rides stop being like this kid can't go on it? Like what happened when they were letting kids on? Like was there an <coughs> event though, you know, where like a little kid just like got well, I don't know. Certain rides, it kind of makes sense. Like Splash Mountain, it I don't know that you would sense. want a two-year-old on. Well, it, it you all have to be able to. Properly well, no, but I know it, it all makes sense. But I'm just saying, like back in the day, yeah. there were like wooden roller coasters, right. so like a kid probably just went like, whoosh, like flew out on a turn. Oh yeah, at some point, and they were sure. just like no more. And eventually, they were like, let's just put a rope across. But yeah, sorry, you were no, on, no, on the fine. bridge though. So we're on the bridge, and we're 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 waiting. Juliet eventually like passes out, but I see this person like kind of right when I get to the bridge. And I stand at the bridge for like maybe 45 minutes, like just waiting to see if they're going to come down. And then, um, <clears throat> but I see this one person when I left where the line was, I left where the line was, came to the bridge, saw one person had jumped in the line. By the time I got there, they were coming down. So I was like, dope. Like when I get that fast pass, this is going to be fast. And uh, <laughs> it's going to be a fast pass. Uh, but anyway, so we're sitting there and then one comes down, goes around the little corner, stops. Another one comes down around the corner, stops behind it. A little line builds up of these carts. And then there's talk from the bridge. News has already made its way to the bridge. Ride got shut down. And I was like, what the fuck? And they had been, they were literally, they were right there. Like she took a picture of the seats, like two hours just down the drain. <laughs> It was the most. It was the worst fucking part of the day, and we were so bummed. But we were so happy it happened right away because they gave us three. So much time, they gave us three fast passes for free for That's any ride enough. except like three of the like the two two pop like they're too popular. Like Tower of Terror. No, like Snow White and like something else. Tower of Terror is at a different park. We only had a pass for that Magic oh, Kingdom. Yeah. But anyway, so we went to a uh, fucking. I think we went to Pirates next. We went to Pirates next, and that was dope. Dude. Pirates of the Caribbean's so such a sick ride, and they've like updated it a little bit. So like Jack Sparrow's like throughout oh, the thing, dude, you know? Because when when I went, I was like eleven or twelve, and it w like I don't even think Pirates of the Caribbean had come out as a movie. So it was like all, all the, the like old, old like nineteen seventies robots and shit. They're still there for sure. Yeah, and it's so cool to see, and they're so good, dude. Some of them are you're like. Are you sure that's not a fucking person, dude? It's freaking me out. But the Jack Sparrow thing was pretty cool, just how they yeah. incorporated that. I heard he had, like, a couple years ago, he actually spent the whole day in Disney World or in that Sparrow. attraction. Sparrow. Yeah. And so, like, you'd pass him and he'd just be there, like, doing it. That's crazy. Pretty badass. I think he's not doing that anymore. Oh, I, I think probably he's not. done. He's fucking, he's falling apart, I've heard. Honestly, like, he spent three million dollars on the last Pirates of the Caribbean. He spent three million dollars on wine alone during the filming of that movie. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, uh, it's funny. I read a 
it's not the same thing, but I read an interesting fact about I watched um the in- Infinity War, the Avengers. Robert Downey Jr. requested that all of his home furniture be flown to the set. Really? And they were like, sure. Wow. And I just think about that because Robert Downey Jr. as amazing Tony Stark. Just an incredible actor in general. And you hear something like that and you're like, what a fucking prick yeah, dude. move. But also, he's filmed so many movies and you spend so much time that I felt like he was probably just like, I want all my shit from home yeah, if I'm going to be here forever. Because it sounds douchey, but then it's like... It yeah, maybe makes... he's just always filming. He's probably filming those movies more than... Yeah, he has yeah. a home life or a civilian life. That's what I mean. So yeah, you're totally right. But it is like still, it sounds a little... I don't know. Yeah, I wonder how much money sh- it costs to do just that. That shit with Johnny Depp is... Yeah, yeah it's crazy. I... See, that's the, I can kind of like step back and kind of be like, I feel like Robert Downey Jr. is like probably still a pretty chill dude. Johnny Depp, though, I feel like is like he'd probably hurt he, you, dude. He's just crazy. That he video, of him? oh yeah, throwing the wine. You want to see crazy? <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. But uh, what was after Pirates? We went oh to the Tiki Room. Shout out to the Tiki Room with all the birds. Shit was kind of boring, but it was kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was though. It was just like kind of takes you back in time, sort of thing. But uh, what else? We did Dumbo, you know. Yeah. That was pretty Did dope. you do the Haunted Mansion? I wanted to, but, like, we kind of passed it at one point, and then the wait was, like, too crazy. You know, you got to, like, throw away the rides. Some ideas, rides you want to do, you're like, oh, Buzz like never yeah. happened. Mm-hmm. Nah. Uh, what else did we do? I mean, mainly the whole experience was just so surreal, just, like, coming from, like, watching Juliet through her eyes, you know. And, like, my sister, she got to do a couple of rides that she wanted to do that were great, but by herself, you know. But, like, watching it through Juliet's eyes was pretty, it was it was a trip. Um, but then, like, dude, the worst thing happened. At the very end, we, we got the fast passes, and we're, like, we're in Tomorrowland. We're, and then, you know, let's do fucking Space Mountain. Dude, fuck Space Mountain, bruh. <laughs> dude, fuck Space what Mountain, happened? dude. That shit made me so sick and so scared, dude. Don't they have like signs that are like, if you have issues, yeah, like, yeah. don't go on this? Mainly said stuff like you got high blood pressure, bad neck. Um, like both. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but it, we had fast passes, so it was dope. And I was pretty excited leading up to it. Because honestly, I should have known what it was going to be. But I really didn't think it was going to be like a fucking straight up roller coaster. You know what I mean? And I've never been on one. And dude, like the last time I was at like a carnival was like one of those things that like you're in a bucket going around and they go up and down, but also the bucket spins, you know? Yeah. And I'm like 21. And every time I'm passing, <laughs> I'm passing the guy, dude. This is dude. still an unexpectedly older age yeah, than yeah. I thought you were going to say. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm still, I'm, every time I pass the guy that's like controlling the ride, you like, know? Stop. I'm like, scre- <laughs> stop, please, dude. I'm serious, dude. Stop. <laughs> Please! I was so upset, and that says that's how upset I got on Space Mountain. But there was no one to say that, to, you know. Like I was, I thought about it for a second. I was like, I'm gonna scream, stop! And then like I was like, no one's gonna hear me. That was like uh, when they had the carnival here. I'll never forget being like really young, and I think my sister wasn't even born yet. And my mom and one of her friends took me on the you know the Sizzler. Yeah. That goes yeah like up and around. And you're and, against yeah. the wall. Yeah, and it's. <laughs> I'll never, I'll never forget just <laughs> screaming. I will never whole, do that. The whole time I was like, I just remember like looking at the dude operating it and he looked kind of like Rick James <laughs> and just being like, stop the fucking ride. Like, please, God. Come like, on, Rick. Like, just being like, please, God. Like, praying to God as like a child. <laughs> yeah, dude. And this, and my, I'll never forget that my mom and her friend just like losing it, just <laughs> laughing at me. That's being hilarious. So upset. That's why I don't like rides. Oh, man. So, but, like, <laughs> we had the Fast Pass. So, when we got in there, when we got to where the line started for Fast Pass, there was a massive line down there. I don't know if you remember that long ass tunnel before you get to the mm-hmm. launch lounge. What and, a space uh, mountain? Yeah. I didn't go. I don't like rides. Oh. And dude, <laughs> that long was insane. When we got to where we were, somebody, like, further up the line in the regular line just shouts, Three hours! <laughs> 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 like, that's how long he was at. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, and we were like, holy shit. So you got to go to Disney for like two weeks. Oh, yeah. If dude. you want to ride. The next time like I go, on. that's going to be like my plan is to like plan in advance, stay on the land, you know, and be there for a couple days. <laughs> Work the land. <laughs> Work the land with my hands. How was the food? Dude, the food was actually pretty dope, I thought. we I got this one thing. It was like cauliflower fried buffalo shit, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> with some like cheese up in that shit. Um, the French fries. Dude, I got some hot dogs. That shit was tight but um got a fucking hot did you get anything <laughs> crazy or nah <laughs> <laughs> I was mainly oh, went down there was just sucking rides. down <laughs> some dogs <laughs> hot but, dogs uh, are like that's the thing though they are kind of like stupidly simple but when you get a hot dog like out it's kind of oh, like yeah. pretty yeah. baller then you can dress it up like yeah chili dog chili dog yeah some chili fries and all that shit it was great but dude so space mountain i get on that thing and it takes off, and I'm like, and I'm I'm fine with it at first, because it's first it's that tunnel, the white tunnel, like, and you're going, and you're like, is it gonna break through at the you're end? You're going though, right? You're actually, yeah, yeah, I'm moving. actually moving. And I'm kind of in the back of this line of six or seven, whatever. And I'm like, and then I see that oh, it's gonna take a big sharp left turn. Be prepared, you're good. And so, <laughs> take it. It dips down. Bumps up, strobes hit you for a second, and I'm like, oh, like I'm scared now, but I'm like, okay, it's cool. It goes through a couple weird things, and then there's this like really disorienting part where it goes up, the classic pitch up, you know. But it's the room is made to look like it's level, so you're a little disoriented by that at first. You're like, you're because you feel like you know you're going up, you feel it, but you're like, am I going straight, you know? And there's these like people in the middle of it and i'm like oh it's operators and my head again i'm like maybe i can like be like yo <laughs> let me hop out right quick and uh that's like that would then, be a great thing at the peak of every roller coaster there's a spot where they stop here and they're like does anybody want to bail <laughs> and be like, i would yeah. love that dude because i'd do space mountain over and over again <laughs> keep getting <laughs> getting off so you're, so but, you're going uh, up so going up and then, and then we get closer those aren't real people they're just like little mannequins like spacemen you know like at the helm and i'm like oh, okay so i'm fucked <laughs> so, then, Hell? so then it gets to the top and it's it was the coolest part of the ride honestly you get to the top and it's just the top of space mountain it looks like you're in fucking outer space there's like like lights everywhere stars and shit i was like oh damn that's beautiful <laughs> I fucking got <laughs> no! t- dude i got took and it was not fun the rest of the ride i was so fucking miserable i was like sh- i was every time i could say something i'd be like shit <laughs> shit <laughs> fuck and then i and then i get hit with the deepest fear of all i start thinking about the thing that's holding me in and i'm like dude what's stopping this from fucking malfunctioning <laughs> opening up because the way it's throwing you around i was like i'll get tossed and damaged like, hard <laughs> and so i'm suddenly in fear of that and i'm holding to whatever i can at the bottom in the seat but everything's like round smooth edges so i'm <laughs> like, really like i can't grab anything dude i was so fucking scared and then finally the ride ends and you come out and i just like it was like the worst feeling for the next like 20 minutes sickness so hot sweating my sister was like that was amazing and i'm like dude give me the fuck out of here dude and it's a long burn that fucking long. ride to the ground yeah, like, space no ground. one should go on there nope and then she went and she did it herself again and she loved it and, but i fucking hated that shit but the be- best part probably was at the very end we were leaving leaving and we had a fast pass to see mickey and Juliet got to see Mickey again. It's her birthday, so it became like this really cool, special moment. Like these people were in front of us. They saw Mickey. They, they got out of the room and other people. And then when we saw Mickey, no one was in behind us. We had the whole room to ourselves for like five minutes just seeing Mickey. And dude, my kid was fucking over the moon. It was probably one of the coolest things <clears throat> of that whole trip. It was pretty awesome, though. But, um, dope. But, uh, but yeah, man. Hi. <laughs> I feel like I just rambled. I'm sorry, guys. But that was just like <laughs> no, a yeah, really that awesome experience. Yeah, you're that not, whole trip. Dude, so. Sounds dope, dude. It's really nice. <clears throat> What's going on in your neck of the woods, Blake? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Anything cool like over the holidays while I was away? Anything cool like that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just pain, huh? Yeah, bro. I... Um, 
Yeah, just that. Yeah, I'm just you know. I mean, you were chilling with Rob a little yeah, bit. You so. guys have some fun, you know. Yeah, we just, just just chilling, <laughs> chilling. I don't know. Yeah, it was fun. It it was what Disney, about but... what about like um? What did y'all do for like actual Christmas Day? I slept. I slept all, all day. Family. Yeah, yeah. Just my nephew. Step daughter. Step daughter. <laughs> oh, yeah, all my family was away. Right. So I just any Christmas presents. I just got money. Nice. Oh yeah, you told me got about that. Bonus. That was dope. Like a coat. <laughs> that was dope. I got you an Xbox. <laughs> got me an Xbox. <laughs> I couldn't Still play here. it though. There was just a shitload of blow in it. Yeah. There's no hard drive. It was just full so, of bricks. So you I just played some other shit like on your phone. <laughs> just fucking got real fucking coked out and tried to get my dick hard and it wouldn't work. <laughs> it does not work. I don't know. But um. But yeah, let's. Uh, so one of those last episodes, we talked about a uh, like a new thing, like a monthly movie review, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah. <laughs> we didn't choose anything when we brought it up in the last episode. So basically, we'll what we're gonna do is each month we'll uh, each pick a movie that we uh, will review. And uh, this this month, so we're gonna start next week. So then a month from that, we'll have another one. But um, I think. Um, each episode that we do the music review will have decided what the next two movies will be. So instead of doing it that way now, we're just going to decide it now. And then next week you'll see us review those two movies. So um, so what movie did you choose, boys? All right, I'm going to throw it. Demolition Man. <laughs> no, I'm going to throw a curveball. And I'm not going to do a movie. Oh, shit. Only because I watched this, and I did express to you you should watch this, but that show... Um, it's just like 12 episodes, um, British show, like 20 minute episodes. So it's a little bit more than a movie. So maybe if anyone wants to check this out, you get kind of like a little binge out of it. Um, it's called Flowers. Oh, right. <clears throat> and uh, I've already watched it, but yeah, everyone else should watch it. How many it. episodes is it? There's 12. 12 episodes. Yeah. It's classic British TV <laughs> where they just give you enough, but they don't give you right. enough, you know, and you're like, but it's still really good. Well, dude, I'll get on it. I'll crush those. Um, yeah, it's pretty. In, I think I have time to do that. I mean, even if you watch just a couple, just watch a couple episodes. It's no, I'll try to crush it because especially Increable. since you watched it. Um, what about you? What do you got? So I got. Um, I don't know if you've already seen it, and if you have, well, like whatever. I need to rewatch it, so I'm gonna rewatch it again before next week. But um, you were uh, you were never really here. Oh, with Walking Phoenix? Walking Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, I remember watching that. You watched it. I have seen it, but not in a very yeah, oh, a long time. I what thought that weird... movie was so amazing. It's great. So, yeah. Interesting. So, so those are our two picks. So next so week. So next week, if I don't crush those episodes, maybe we'll do it next, the following week. But well, that's I mean, I'll, goal. I'll, I'll fucking, I'll come in with the review of that, that shit. Um, but, uh. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the, that. So look forward to that. You fucking buddies. <laughs> um, oh, so fuck. speaking of reviews, we're going to go into our, uh, hopefully what will become the weekly music review. Um, we got actually, um, a friend of ours sent us some music, uh, a song to play. So we're going to play that. Um, his name is Joseph Cardell, good friend of ours and his, uh, musical act, Vaudevillian. And um, we will shout out his social media and all that stuff after the song plays, but we're going we're gonna to play the song right now. So this song is called Full Moon. Check out Vaudevillian, bros.
for the night though Got a feeling you're gonna get quite loud I need you and so is at me right now Put me on the number nine club Put me on the ball going down south Give me two coins, let me keys up Look at that at dawn, look at what we done Thank you, Vaudevillian. That was Vaudevillian, track Full Moon. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool that, uh, you know, I feel like Joe's just kind of like uh, in the same boat we are, just like going for it this year, especially with his uh, with this musical act. You know, he's been playing in like, uh, he's been playing now, playing shows. It's pretty cool. I yeah. forget how many shows he's done, but. Three. Three. But he said they've been, they've been going pretty good and um yeah just stoked for him in that and i hope that he uh i don't know if he's like dropping any album he said he's dropping something this summertime EP. i think ep, EP and, maybe um but you can find him on spotify vaudevillian v-a-u-d-e-v-i-l-l-i-a-n and that's also his um instagram with an underscore at the end um, so yeah, find him on Spotify, find him on Instagram and give him a follow and you know, we've got that post um, that has come out or will be coming out that will have like, you know, all, all the ways to follow him and, um, you know, get in touch with him. I think he's also talking about or, uh, you know, already kind of reaching out to people um, like, uh, what is it called when you like make beats for other people, you know? Produce? Just, just like yeah. producing for other people, like <laughs> selling beats or oh, whatever. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't yeah. know if it is production, but yeah, pretty much. But uh, but yeah, check him out. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll have him as a, a guest someday or like even a musical guest. I think that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, it'd be crazy to have Joseph as a guest on the show for the first time. <laughs> for the first time ever. 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 <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, I think that would be cool too, though, like doing that sometimes, like live music sometimes, like as just like a performance of a song, yeah. like you did, you know. And I think yeah. we should do that again someday too. For show, um, getting that for show. <laughs> but here we are at one of my favorite segments. Break news. <laughs> you wrong. 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 I can't. Right? I can't do Trump. That was me trying to do Trump. You wrong. Wrong. I don't know. I'm how he does British. It. <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong, mate. My name's you Trump. You are wrong. My name's Trump. Get the fuck out of here. Brexit. <laughs> but um, so one of the b- top news stories I'm following right now is that fucking Kevin Spacey shit, dude. <laughs> that motherfucker is in the inky mirror, bro. Dude, he's coming to Nantucket Court on Monday. Yeah, I know. It's fucking insane. I can't believe it. So for those of you who don't know, Kevin Spacey. He's in some hot water right now, dude. What's in the box? <laughs> Probably a dick. <laughs> Probably a dick that you shouldn't be looking at. But um, so he got in trouble for uh, what was his name? I feel so bad for getting his name right now. The first guy, Anthony. It's okay if the victims' names are forgotten. Yeah, but he's like um a, a celebrity now, and he's the one that kind of broke the news that Anthony Bourdain. <laughs> <laughs> he broke the news that uh, uh, Spacey tried to touch him when he was fourteen. They were doing like a Broadway show together. Anthony Rapp, I think, is his name. I don't know if you can look that up, Rob. Um, but he's like on the new Star Trek show. He was in Dazed and Confused. Oh, okay. But, um, but anyway, but this story, what he's getting charged with, formally charges have been made 
from this woman's from this kid's mom. So he was eighteen. Uh, I forget when this was, like two years ago. He was eighteen, at, working at the club car on Island. He told Spacey that he was twenty three. So there is some weird stuff about this that I wonder what's going to happen in court. But um, he said he was 23, lied to Spacey about all this stuff, like where he went to school and all this. But anyway, Spacey, over the course of like, uh, I don't know, seven hours, gave him like 10 drinks. Or maybe it was 70 minutes. Sorry, 70 minutes, 10 drinks. I think it was something like that. It was after his shift and he like was just chilling with him and they exchanged numbers, all this stuff. He was trying to get him back to his place like a bunch and then there's like video evidence that they're saying that he assaulted him um it's a one second snapchat video that he sent to his girlfriend and the space i shouldn't be laughing come on <laughs> guys come on it's, it's just like weird yeah. to think about space doing this. Yeah, you don't. but you just see like his hand on his crotch like on the dude's crotch it's a one second thing so it's interesting what's going to happen, but did you guys see this video that came out the same day that these charges were made? No. This right. video, dude, it's called um, Let Me Be Frank. So he has this character, Frank Underwood, on House of Cards. Oh, And they wait, killed him yeah, off. Yeah, I think I do remember that video. So he knew that these charges were being made four days before the release of this video. So he knew, you know what I mean? He knew what he was doing when he put this video out. So he's in character as Frank Underwood, wearing like a Christmas uh, apron. He's like carving a turkey. He's like doing this and that. And dude, it is the weirdest, creepiest shit ever. Like I, I wish we could play it, but I don't know if we'd get in trouble. Like if we like played it right now. Probably not. Probably because like news acts talking about places this, but. are. <laughs> but, but there's some fascinating shit in there. Like if, it's all like very vague stuff that he says. He's like, ah, oh, I wish I could, like, remember some of the things he said. But he says this one thing. He's like, um, you wouldn't, you wouldn't um, accuse someone of being guilty without any actual evidence. Something like this. Yeah, well, that's, Would like, you? because of his character. Did you? And, like, all this stuff. It's just, like, very subtle stuff. Cryptic. Yeah, very cryptic, yeah. very weird. Um, and he's like, you know, it's something about... I don't know, dude. You get, just got to watch this video because it's so fucking creepy. But there are other, like, obviously there's conspiracy stuff coming up about it that he's about to expose something, you know, like. Which means he's probably going to end up dead. Somewhere. Right, right. That's like <laughs> another theory about it. But what's, what is interesting, at one point he sips from a mug. And it, the mug he received from Windsor Palace from the Queen. He, he's gone because he lives in London. That's where his home is. Lives in London, touches underage kids in Nantucket. So there is like some weird thing going on. You know what I mean? I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm so curious. I'm scared about Russia. They just came out with a um, new missile system. The avant-garde missile system. You guys hear about this? No. Well, you were kind of talking completely about un- it. They say, they claim that it's completely undetectable, their missile system. And it can carry a warhead. It can do all this crazy stuff. It basically shoots up into space, <coughs> if there is space. Um, and then it hits the dome. It hits the dome. And then it flex back down. No, and then it can, and then it, you know, to get a better trajectory. Yeah. yeah. And then it like can hit l- really low altitudes, go up to high, low, low, it, and like I forget how many times, like seven times faster than the speed of sound, or some shit. Dude, it's, it's a hypersonic glider. Hypersonic glider. That's exactly what it is, dude. It's, well, it's a bit I, like a drone, essentially. I guess if it's undetectable, we'll never see it coming. Nope. And, uh, and yeah, like, you know, you never know what, like, America, where, you know, no one ever shows their real hand, you know? And if they do, it's Well, even kind in of knowing bluff. about that, about Russia, probably not even. It's probably well, worse. Putin, Putin probably was... way worse, way more undetectable things than that. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> what were you going to say? I was just saying, he's this... the one who, uh, said it. Announced it. Yeah, yeah. It, it, this is telling me they've been working on it since 2015. Oh, shit. So this took a little bit of time. <laughs> yeah, and like, you know, on the news I saw that it said that, you know, we won't have anything capable of detecting this if it's real for the next two to four years. <laughs> no, that's it. So it's like, well, that's the best way. that's a lie. <laughs> well, that's the best way to do it. This is going to be another Cold War. Just announce a uh, undetectable missile that doesn't exist, so therefore technically it is undetectable because right. it doesn't actually it doesn't exist. exist. We shot it at you? You didn't get it? Oh. 
Huh. Must have hit something else. Just forget it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I know politics at the end of the day is kind of like bullshit and boring, but I'm, I'm focused on it more and more, not to like be prepared for anything necessarily, but just to like get an idea how this fucking shitty world works and try to like, I don't know, kind of wrap helps you navigate through better. it, navigate through it, but also like to like force because it lately it's making me look for more positive things, you know, and like try to like hope that we got our shit figured out. I mean, if you think about it, it's pretty cool that humans could invent something that is undetectable mm-hmm. and can blow up fucking and can destroy the world. <laughs> just get it's everybody. Kind of, it's an achievement in a way, but it's oh, yeah. just terrifying. Unlock that fucking Call of Duty. Get that achievement. That glider. Five kill streak. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Double kill. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so I don't know. I think this is probably a good place to sign off for this episode. Um, sure. So yeah, guys, we're 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 excited to be back here, and we're you know constantly developing the show, trying to come up with new and exciting ways of presenting it to you, presenting ourselves to you. Um, so if you guys have any ideas, let us know uh, in any way you can. A comment, a like, a subscribe. Uh, don't forget, we get to 100k subscribers. I shave my head and get a tattoo uh, on the back of my head, so that's real. And that's real life. Um, but yeah, shout out to Vaudevillian again for giving us that track. Um, and, uh, yeah, come back tomorrow for the, uh, we got a guest episode, special guest. We've been trying to get him in the studio for a while now, but he's, but he's here. And, uh, yeah, his name's Aiden Sherry. Uh, he's got a company that he started dealing with, uh, CBD and, uh, yeah, we're super, super excited to have him. So tomorrow that comes out and, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you soon. Peace. Happy fun.